dog. Mm -hmm. To one person that slang, what's up dog means, how you doing buddy? How you doing my friend? In another place, what's up dog? Wait a minute, you calling me an animal? Uh -huh. <laughs> so in, 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 in English, based upon the neighborhood you're from, there are certain slangs, there are certain uh, words that are articulated and they have a different meaning. Oh. Um, um, Okay. I, I can't. I said I want to pop. And people say, what's that? That's a soda. Right, but right. I'm like, I want to pop. <laughs> I grew up like that. And, 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 I never understand. And so, so here you got a group of folks in the 1980s, I want to pop. They thinking pop. Yeah. Pop locking. So can you imagine if we make those uh, um, mistakes in English, how much more right. when you have a language gap? Oh, yeah. and, 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 and then when you deal with the church work, the church has its own language. Mm -hmm. And the church has its own language dealing with an unchurched generation. So you've got unchurched people that come into the church, and we have these certain biblical phrases that we use. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know, what does it mean that I'm a, you're a holy roller? What does that mean? So once again, there are constant, mis there are constant misinterpretations, even in the English language, so we can imagine the misinterpretation when we deal with the words. I submit to you that the greatest problem we have in the church world is we have a word problem. Most folks don't know what words mean. And so as a believer, you have to, words, Jesus, the Greek word logos is the expression of thought. Jesus is the logos. You know, but before Jesus came, uh, before, G before John 1 was written, before Jesus uh, took on the title as the Logos, the word, meant, the word Logos was used in the Greek language. For example, like the word agape. Agape we use as unconditional love. Right. But agape was a word that was used before the church ever took the word. Mm -hmm. We just gave it another expanded meaning. The Greek language was in existence 400, 350 years before Christ was born. So by the time Jesus was born, they had what is called a Bible that was called the Septuagint, the Greek Septuagint. And in Jesus' day, the Greek Septuagint was the Bible of that day. I'm, I'm going here for a purpose. So let's look at this. We got 400 B.C., 400 B.C., 400 B.C. We have Alexander the Great who had his great, great conquest, and we have what's called the Alexandrian Library. In the Alexandrian Library, all of the knowledge, all of the wealth of wisdom was supposed to be